Hey, uh, good morning. It's uh, Sunday. It's the 29th. And uh, today we've got church online. And uh, But I'm actually in a preparation mode. Got a little bit of worship here on behind me because as I went um, on Saturday evening and uh, just spent some time, it's a bit cold out there, but spent some time walking and praying and felt like uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, speaking to me, and I know his voice, about the situation, about this coronavirus and about things that are happening and things that are going to happen. And so as part of our service today, I want to I bring this word from the Lord to you. And if it helps, encourages, if it's something you want to share beyond that, then great. Praise God. But here's what the Holy Spirit was impressing on my heart. The Lord saying, I'm going to, I'm going to use this situation and I'm going to turn this situation. I'm not moved by any virus. I'm not shaken in the slightest, says the spirit of God. And you should not interpret that as a lack of deep care and affection for those that are suffering. For the heart of the Lord and the love of God is great and is deep for people. But the Lord says this, I'm going, to, I'm going to use this situation to turn things. There's a turning coming. There's a change coming. And it isn't, you know, some in church leadership and church life, they would say it'll, it'll change the way we do church. But that's not really what I'm driving at, says the Spirit of God. I want to change the way people walk with me. I want to raise up a people that are formidable in the earth. And this virus that has come across like something that will be damaging has obviously presented itself as a force for ruination. The Lord says this, the spirit of the Lord says this, I'm going to turn things, I'm going to do it via the virus. I'm going to use the virus. I'm going to turn things around and I'm going to raise up things that you didn't expect to be raised up. And I'm going to shift and I'm going to put my focus from this to this. And I'm going to do things quickly. And I'm going to raise up things quickly. And before you know it, and some people, some people will say, they'll look back and they'll say that, that, that was that really to do with the virus? And it's not like the virus made it happen. It's the Lord who says, I am sitting above and on top of every situation this earth faces. I have a plan. I have a purpose. My eye is searching to and fro throughout the earth. And there have been those that have prophesied. There have been those that have seen from afar. There have been those that have sensed a change that needs to come. And I'm going to utilize this situation and bring about things that surprise not just God's people, but the people of the earth. But I'm going to awaken my people. I'm going to sharpen them. I am the Lord Almighty and I will do what I will do, says God. I'm with you. This is not a time to fear. This is a time to allow your heart to rise up and to know that if you put your trust in me, I will bring you through. I will bring you out the other side and you'll see greater glory, greater glory, greater things, greater demonstrations, a significant shift that comes on the back, right on the back of this virus. Don't be afraid. This will not last forever. This is not the end, but it's a season of change, of opening doors, of, of, of almost like permitting, like allowing this, this, this cracking thing. It's, 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 it's cracked open the, the nations of the world and it's going to allow the Spirit of God to move in a remarkable and a significant way. I believe that's the word of the Lord. I wanted to get to you now. It's kind of late now, but I wanted to do it because I felt the anointing on me to speak.
about that thing. I trust it blesses you. I love you. I love God. We are trusting him together. Look to the Lord. He is the light of your life. God bless you.